This time on Second Chance Ohana. Hey guys, today we have this super cute, funky little dresser that we found on Facebook Marketplace for $50. We wanted to snag it up because we've been searching high and low for mid-century modern pieces. So they're pieces like this from the 50s, 60s, and they're hot and trendy right now. So join me today as we see if we can give this baby a second chance. Aloha, I'm Danny. In 2016, I moved from Maui to Arizona with my husband so we could be closer to my mom and pops who lived just a few miles away. On our journey, Kyle and I expanded our family by adopting three tweens and Barbie, who helps make sure everyone feels like part of the Ohana. Mom and I love to hunt for used furniture and restore it because it's so much fun to be creative, use power tools, and of course, make money. And because like people, sometimes furniture just needs a second chance. So mom, I keep sending you links for your really cute mid-century modern pieces, but this one, you finally agreed to go look at. Why did this one capture your interest? Well, look at it. This is like so cute. And funky. <laughs> it is, it really is. I can't wait to get my hands on it and start taking it down to, you know, bare wood and, and putting some paint on it. It's, I love it, it's so fun. This top is just completely laminate. Yes. We've got a lot of veneer and I mean, there's a lot of things <laughs> wrong with this. And obviously these are not original. Right. And the drawers are, they're, they're a struggle and have a lot of damage. <laughs> so we'll see if we can make that work. <laughs> We're gonna do a lot of scuff up. We're gonna, you know, fix it so the drawer works. We're going to be putting some primer on this puppy and then I'm handing it over to you. Absolutely. So we're thinking we're gonna go with a navy and gold handles. We're gonna try to keep the original hardware on the bottom and then do um, just like single handle drawer pulls for the drawers, mm -hmm. that gold mm -hmm. color. We think that's a nice neutral color that will sell well, will look really good with this style. So mom, you're gonna start with the sanding, probably um, maybe mm -hmm. filling some chunks <laughs> with some putty and then yes. I'll take over, do the painting. We'll get the hardware going too though, the slides, yeah. and get this baby sold. All right, I'm excited. Me too, I'm <laughs> stoked for this piece. After removing all the hardware and doing a thorough cleaning, I started sanding. And this baby has some gorgeous veneer under all of that ugly finish. Unfortunately, it was in pretty rough shape. Um, so I used wood filler on the smaller gouges and bondo on the larger chunks. Like most of you know, bondo is super messy and it's super stinky, but it's also very strong and durable. It's a little tricky to work with because after mixing it up, you literally only have a couple of minutes before it hardens, so you have to work really fast. Hey, so I found that some of the veneer on the edges was still in pretty good condition. So I got out my frog tape and just taped it up so I could prime and paint the rest of the piece and protect that edge. You don't absolutely need to prime every time, but if you have a slick surface, you're gonna need to scuff sand it really well and then prime. And if you have wood that bleeds or, or has other stains, you, you wanna block that with a shellac primer. And if your piece has an odor, cigarette smell, or something else, you're also going to use a primer to block that odor. After the primer dried, it was a little bit rough. So I took some 220 grit sandpaper and just smoothed out the texture a little bit. I just love MCM hardware. 
Boiling them in a 50-50 solution of vinegar and water works really well to remove all that tarnish. So now that my mom has done all the hard work, she brought it over to our place and now I get to add the paint. And look at this color, it is gorgeous! But not exactly the navy we were hoping for. We ended up having to take this gallon back to Sherwin-Williams and they added an ounce of black to make it that dark color that we wanted. Mm. Whoops! <laughs> you know, things happen. Don't worry, I can fix it. I am convinced these drawers are cursed. Not a single one fit in properly. There was so much wrong. They either stuck out, they would get really sticky, or they would go in too far. One of the glides was even glued on crooked, so we had to drum on the inside in order to make it fit. And if you haven't tried this soap trick, this works great. Waxing those glides helps the wood ride nice and smoothly on there. <sighs> Finally, a perfect fit. It's Polly Day. And as you can see, we wanted to spray the top coat. Unfortunately, you need to do really thin coats and we've just been struggling with our sprayer and it's going on way too thick. Not to mention that it was one of our first really hot days this year. So it just pulled and cracked when it dried. So obviously we had to sand it out to deal with it. With no temperature drop in sight, we knew we had to bring everything in. Our favorite method for polying by hand is to add some of the original color to our polyurethane. Brush it on with high quality brushes, we love these zebra brushes, and then go over those wet brush strokes with a high density foam roller. It leaves a perfectly smooth finish. Funky Town. Yes. She's listed for sale. Let's get her out of here. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Are you going down to be an outtake? Down, down, down here. Downtown. Come here. Down. Downtown. Clean up on all Cheers. Cheers. We have wrapped up. Funky town. Yahoo. She's beautiful, but she was a challenge. Oh my gosh. What was the hardest part for you, Mom? It had to be the drawer. I took that drawer, it had a loose track on it, and I glued it back on, but I glued it off center. So <laughs> that took a while to fix it. And that's a mistake. We'll only make once. We've made it. Now we can move on. Mm -hmm. And my hardest problem was it just that it took two months. It took so long and because the paints, it was the wrong color. And then we got the right color. I was spraying it and it dried funky outside in the sun because it was already 105 degrees here by then. And you went on a couple of vacations. A couple of vacations slowed it down. <laughs> and it just took us forever. And so then we had a paint, we had a roll, we brushed, we, we did everything. And we're pretty happy with it. You could change one thing about it, what would it be? I would, I love it, but I would make the veneer somehow redo that, make it less swatchy. It definitely ended up swatchy because we had to fix a lot of parts of it. There were a lot of gouges and we used stainable wood filler, but it didn't take the stain like the rest of the veneer. So it definitely left it blotchy no matter what we tried, painting, gel stain, everything. But we're just, we can't be perfectionists. We got to send it home. We got to let it go. Mm -hmm. But what's your favorite part about this dresser? The two-tone look with the wood and the color and the hardware. I just love that whole look. It's my favorite part too. And I love the MCM and she is funky. Her shape, mm -hmm. her, you know, the big drawer on the bottom with the six portions. Like it's just, it's cool. It's really fun. It is. So we loved it. We used a ton of different products, so feel free. We have a link for, I think, practically everything we use down below. Check it out if there's something that you saw that you want to give a try to. And we hope that you will like, 
this video, comment mm -hmm. on this video if you have any questions, any reactions, we'd love to hear. She's really good about responding. And please subscribe if you haven't. All right, aloha right. and aloha. have a great week. <laughs>